All right, guys, I'm back again. Um, as I told you, I'm going to be filming my book haul. Um, some of these I got off Amazon, some I got from Borders, some um, I got for review, and then some of them I got from a secondhand shop. So um, let me get started. They're really not in any order. I'll tell you where I got them from as I go, though. Um, the first book, which I mentioned, I was going to show you in my last... Sorry, this is blinding you. Um, in my last video is The Outsiders by Essie Hitton. And this is actually a speak um, a speak novel. So I think they just republished this. Let me see if it says... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, maybe 1995. So I guess it's been out a lot longer than I thought. Um, but yeah, um, I was required to read this in sixth grade. And I remember this being like one of my favorite books. I loved it. So I definitely picked it up to read it again. Um, it was like 50 cents at a secondhand shop. So there's that. Um, I picked up the next two books from Borders. Um, my husband let me run in and get some books. Yay. Um, the first book I picked up is Not My Daughter by Barbara Delinsky. Um, I've read a few books from her. Um, the Passions of Chelsea Kane I've read. Coast Road I've read. Um, both of those were like my favorites. I love them that I've read of hers. I've read some more. I just can't even think of the names right now. Um, but I really like her books. They're really good. Um, I wouldn't really necessarily call them romance. They are, but like they're contemporary at the same time. Like this one, I'll read the back of this one just because I'm sure a lot of you aren't familiar with it. Um, when Susan Tate's 17-year-old daughter, Lily, announces she is pregnant, Susan is stunned. A single mother, she has struggled to do everything right. She sees the pregnancy as an inconceivable tragedy, both for Lily and herself. Then comes word of two more pregnancies among other high school juniors who happen to be Lily's best friends. The town tur turns to talk of a pact. As fingers start pointing, the emotional ties between mothers and daughters are stretched to breaking and a wrenching story of love and forgiveness. So, this reminded me of that movie, The Pregnancy Pact, but um, I, just, I really think she's going to do an awesome job with this story, so I look forward to reading this. Um, I don't have any more that I can think of off the top of my head autobiographies to read, and I really like reading those and memoirs, um, occasionally. So I picked up this book. It's called Leaving Dirty Jersey, a Crystal Meth Memoir by James Salant. Um, and this is about a boy who's 24 who gets addicted to crystal meth and his recovery and journey through that. I'll read the back of this one as well, because I haven't seen this on anybody's, um, hauls or anything. With his nickname Dirty Jersey tattooed on the inside of his left forearm, James Salant wanted everyone to know he was a tough guy. At the age of 18, after too many run-ins with a cop for drug possession, he left his upper middle class home in Princeton, New Jersey for a stint at a rehab facility in Riverside, California. He spent his year there shooting crystal meth and living at a, as a petty, cr a petty criminal until a near psychotic episode, among other things, convinced him to clean up. In stark prose, infused with heartbreaking insight, wicked humor, and complete veracity, Salant provides graphic descriptions of life on crypt crystal meth, the incredible sex drive, the paranoia, the cravings, and weaves them into a narrative that is breathtakingly honest and authentic. Salant grip grapples with his um, attraction to the thuggest life and skewing easy answers. His parents, both, therapy, both therapists, were loving and supportive, and his family settled to functions typical of almost any American family. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it sounds really good. So I look forward to reading this. And it's not even in the screen. There you go. All right. Next is a book that my mom actually found. This is the other book that I got at the secondhand shop. Um, which actually, I believe, well, it says history or Jewish interest. I don't know. I think this is more of a memoir, too. Um, but my mom knows I really like reading about the Holocaust. So this is um, one lady's account, I believe. It's called Triumph of Hope by Ruth Elias. Um... And this originally wasn't written in, Ger in um, English. I believe it was in German. Or not German. I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably German. Um, 
I guess I'll read the back of this one too. Um, now available in English, here is the award-winning and internationally acclaimed testament of a Jewish woman who was taken to Auschwitz while several months pregnant, where she was forced to confront perhaps the most agonizing choice ever imposed upon any woman, upon any human being, so that both she and her newborn infant should not die in a Nazi medical experiment personally conducted by the infamous Dr. Joseph Mengele. And just as vividly, Ruth Ilias recounts the aftermath of her imprisonment and the difficult path to a new life in a new land, Israel, where new challenges, new obstacles awaited. So yeah, sounds good. Um, the next couple of books are books that I bought at um, Borders. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Um, I picked up Battle Dress by Amy Ifa. Um, she was the one that wrote um, After. Um, if you guys have heard of that book, I also read that one and I absolutely loved it. Here's actually a little picture of After on the back. Um, but I'll read the back of this one too. I believe these are the only two books she has out. 17-year-old um, Andrea, Andy Davis, isn't your average West Point ca cadet. For Andy, entry into the U.S. Army's prestigious service academy means a chance to escape her dysfunctional family and to prove to herself that she has what it takes. But nothing could have prepared her for the rigors of beast, insider slang for cadet basic training, or for the strength that Andy will find within herself. Compelling and powerful, this is a tale of triumph based on the author's own experiences that won't fail to move you. So, sounds good. I've never read anything about a girl in, in um, basic training, so I thought that would be interesting. Um, I also picked up Leaving Paradise by Simone Alcalaz. I still have Perfect Chemistry, which I have not read yet. Um, I'm not going to read the back of this one because I know everybody knows what this one's about. Um, so, yeah. And last but not least, from Borders, at least for that one trip, um, I picked up The Killer's Cousin by Nancy Worlin. And she obviously wrote Impossible, but there's also a book called Locked Inside that I kind of want to read about, because I don't think I've seen it on anybody's hauls. I've seen The, um, the Rules of Survival and Impossible, obviously, because that's a really popular book, but I'm going to have to look into that, but... Um, I'll read the back of this one really quick because, again, I mean, I've seen this. I believe Karen City of Books has this, but... Um, Hidden Secrets. After 17-year-old David is forced to stand trial for his girlfriend's death, he is sent to live with his aunt and uncle and their younger daughter, daughter Lily, to avoid the media frenzy. But all is not well at his relative's house. His aunt and uncle are not speaking to each other, and Lily seems dead set on making David's life a torment. And then there's the issue of their older daughter, Kathy who died under mysterious circumstances a number of years back. As things with this family grow more and more tense, David starts to wonder, is he the only one who's hiding something? So again, that sounds really good. Um, the next book I got for review, um, I'm doing the Chiclet Challenge, so I got this through um, Chiclet Plus. Wow, I can't even think today. But this is Love Struck by Chantel Simmons, and she sent me this cute little cute little card came with it and she personalized a little note to me um but yeah I'll read the back of this one as well um when 27 year old image consultant Poppy Ross discovers her handsome and strangely devoted husband Parker is having an affair she is dumbfounded but before she has a chance to confront him he is struck by lightning when he regains consciousness he has lost his short-term memory including that of the affair Giving a chance to erase history and possibly save her marriage, Poppy decides to remake herself into the mistress's image so that Parker might never be tempted to stray again. Her quest to become the perfect woman has disastrous results, however, and just might turn out to be the worst thing possible for her marriage. So this one sounds really good. I've never read anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, the last one I picked up at Borders when I went with my husband was... Um, the Dead Toss Weaves by Carrie Ryan, which is the companion novel um, to The Force of Hands and Teeth. There's not really... Well, there's one on the inside, but I'm not going to read this because I'm sure you guys have heard about this. Um, next, Karen City of Books was kind enough to send me a gift card for my birthday for Amazon for $10. Um, so thank you so much again, Karen. I was really excited to be able to pick this book up. Um, 
I picked up Desires of the Dead by Kimberly Durding. So this is my birthday present from Karen. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read the back of this either because it's the sequel to um, The Body Finder by Kimberly Durden, but, Durding. But I loved the first book, so I'm really excited to read this one. And then I also got a couple other books. I got these a while ago, but I still haven't shown them. Um, I picked up Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Again, I'm not going to read the back of this because everybody has seen this and heard about it, but it's even more breathtaking in person. Like, it looks pretty online, and I thought the same thing. I was like, how could it even be prettier? But it just is. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this. And lastly, I got Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. Again, I'm not going to read it. You guys know it has the beveled edges. I'm not going to read the back because everybody knows what this book is. Again, this book's cover is just, oh, it's so pretty. So um, I also picked up Playing Heart by Holly Schindler. Um, and I already read that one, and I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, I My review is up on Goodreads, so definitely check that out. Um, but if you haven't read Holly Schindler's books yet, I'm telling you guys, you have to. Blue So Dark was my favorite book of last year. And, um, Playing Hurt was so different, but it was still so good. She just has this way of writing that just, like, I don't know. I just love her. So, definitely check out Playing Hurt. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's for my book haul. Um, hopefully this goes up because it's kind of long, but I'll see you guys later, and happy reading. Bye.